Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. Today I want to show you how to do those kind of roses with the embroidery threads. So it's a different model of rose. Um, I've used it to do mini roses there, not the pom-pom there. This is something else. The roses beside and mostly what we're going to do is we're going to do clusters using like bigger clusters that we can use almost everywhere on a page but on a cover as well where you can do slow stitching little embroidery knots and maybe one rose there using a fabric and then pieces of laces on top of it so layering layering uh, different fabric and laces to do kind of a project with with embroidery on it so this one is a good example you have four pieces of lace or fabric on a big bigger piece of cotton and we have flowers there so today I'm gonna show you we're gonna do like a cluster like that because we do the embroidery on top of it we're going to do the roses and next week we're going to do the leaves and the the green let's say the green all right let's start this will be my starting point i just picked a fabric that was in my scrap pieces and i'm thinking i'm going to use this little piece as well i'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet but then I have to mix with mix it with other pieces of laces so I grabbed a few I could do some squares like that I can add on top of it uh, polka dots as well I think I love this one. Something. This is the thing. We play and at some point I'm gonna know I found out. You try different things even if you like it oh I love this this here I can see the little peaks of the pink roses there I love this flower this all of that and then what if I put kind of in the middle this here I'm sad because I'm losing those flowers so maybe I can turn this a little bit like this I'll still see the flowers I see the rose there but I'm missing this one so I'm gonna move it a little bit so it falls somewhere between ah. <laughs> okay that would be like this if I want to see a little bit of pink like this or maybe like this okay what about this and I love my polka dot what if I put some polka dot that goes a little bit around yeah I love that so let me trim okay I'm gonna take a real pair of scissors let me trim this piece of polka dot just to remove the pointy 
edges, the straight edges. So I'll just trim it down a little bit, remove the straight lines and remove the place where it's not cut correctly. Maybe here as well. Okay, what about something like this on top? This and now I just need to cut the edge here. This is my start. And then I can use that to do some flowers like that here, two or three here. And I can use different slow stitching to kind of, or glue, let's say, to kind of hold everything together. So French knots, little X's, straight lines, all of that to kind of grab everything there. I'm using a special mat so I can pin in, you see. This is the mat showing at the camera and I've put the link for Amazon there so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm using embroidery thread and I'm gonna use only three of the six threads there. So just three out of the six. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of French knots just to uh, hold all the fabric together so I don't have to worry about that. I know that my flowers will be here so I won't do any uh, French knots or slow stitching here and avoid down because I'm not sure how I'm going to do my design. but. All around I can play there to uh, to make sure that my thread will hold the fabric and the laces together Ooh, let's start with let's say here I'm gonna do a French knot here Okay, another one maybe to hold this polka dot. I just love doing embroidery. It is so relaxing. Okay, I'm gonna come here and attach just here with another French knot to grab the beige cotton there. So in order to do what I'm doing, you need somewhere and you can use that flat. You can also work with, let's say this, this is a foam that um, I just covered with some fabric and it goes really well, I'm gonna show you. I usually work on that when I do my embroidery in my living room or in the car <laughs> so how it works is that it's really easy to go through when i need to have my two hands busy holding the thread on one side and the needle on the other one i can pin in and then i can switch the pressure hold everything and then go up 
then I can and here you go so it goes really really well this way so I'll just keep going on with I just want to make sure that this little square here is straight so to make sure it won't move I'm gonna do another one at the top because I know I won't do any flowers there just want to make sure I'm not that my tension so my video is okay there because record. if you put too much uh, tension, I'm taking this piece to show folds. you how so to you do might want to the rows from time to time that the structure of the rows and do the rows and then we're gonna go back to the piece that I, I was working on which will look like that to um, to keep going on so first how it works let's take a piece of paper if we want to do a rose that size we will we would for the structure do a dot in the middle and then three five or seven uh, lines like if we cut a pie they need to be equivalent um, in the length and in the space between them so we need an impair number three five or seven seven I don't even think someone would do seven so it's three or five so if we want a smaller one well then you have to imagine it is smaller right same for if it's bigger you go with the middle and then you do that I tend to do three so we will never do the circle this is for you to see how you're going to decide so if I want to do a flower I'll do the middle and I'll go three ways equal distance from the middle and I'm trying to have equal distance one from each other and this would be my rose at the end this rose would be that big the first thing we need to do is to create the structure the three lines so let's say if I'm doing a rose here I'm gonna decide which length I want my rose don't forget we have to double right so don't go too big <laughs> so I'm gonna do a big one just to show you so this one like that and then I need to do two more equal distance as possible go back to the middle and a third one at equal distance if okay possible. so now that I have my structure in place I can go go back with in my the middle thread or my silk ribbon and then if I want to do and more flowers start more roses I would do the other structure as much as and possible trying to be in the middle and I start with a French knot so just one turn around the needle this is just to really cover well the middle of the rose and then I get out somewhere but really really close to my French knot as you can see and the fun begins I'm gonna go under over under over under over under over like I switch between under the tread and if I did under this one I go over this one so I skip one and I go under the other one and then with your finger you can make sure that the thread doesn't go uh, in the middle like that so 
you just want to place it while it's um, while you're passing through the other ones and put attention so it goes a little bit under so this one I'm skipping this one I go under this one now and I use my fingers to kind of control the tread to kind of control the tread so this one now I'm gonna go over and under here over under here so I really just skip one and go under the next one and I just try to control the tread so it doesn't pass straight through over the middle of the rows like this we don't want this so if it goes like this maybe you put too much tension so I go I skip one and I go under this one And at the end, it's a bit confusing because you barely see your treads at some point. So it's about time to finish when it's when you're at that level. And that's why you want all the three treads to be equally the same because otherwise you still see one, but you don't see the others. There you go. So this one I'm going to skip this one that is about here and here I should have one so sometimes I can just play a little bit like that to see where it is. We just want to make sure that we cover it really well. This one. And I'm going to finish with this one here so this is my rose this and is what we have finish, those three I'm flowers go back those three roses inside I thought I would and have a little bit more pink so maybe nut. my choice was not the, the best but look at that but I'm gonna do a little one with French now. knots here and there around and with the greens um, this will look awesome so Practice this flower for this week, and then we're going to keep going on with this project next week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.